what is going on YouTube Zero Elite here I'm back again with a new video episode 11 of the Disco Era USS Enterprise tutorial just want to thank you again for tuning in to today's video don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't already and you're new to the channel uh, we are working on our Disco Era USS Enterprise we are making our way on the lower hull and continuing from where we left off we're going to start to wireframe out and work on filling in the upper side of the shuttle bay. So you can see in the top lines we have the top of our wireframe out and we're going to be going a little bit further out here for sure. Um, I think we have a good base to work on here. So now I think what we're going to do at this point is we're going to start to layer out another level of thickness going up to this point right here. Alright, so let's pull out the white concrete and we're going to continue this down. And we'll stop it right before that line here. Well, let's see, maybe that doesn't look right. And just kind of checking out at this point, seeing which way I want to go. If I want to cut in another maybe, or if I want to bring that down. Basically what I'm trying to avoid at this point is I don't want it to end up being too flat, because there obviously has to be that curve um, throughout the lower hull. Um, I don't know, we might actually have to bring it out from here. You know, let's start from up top and we'll work our way down. That's what we're going to do. Not going to second guess myself. Let's just go ahead and continue on as I was originally intending, but we're going to stop make sh making sure that we're stopping before that cutoff point right here. Okay. And we're going to bang out the rest of the left side, and then we're going to do the same thing on the right. Just remember what you do on the left, you got to do on the right. And make this go a little bit fast, faster. So I'm putting that block down and then I'm deleting it afterwards just to make sure it stays consistent. And do the same thing this side. And let's go all the way down. I don't think that placed any of them. Son of a gun. Let's do that one more time. No. Alright. Perfect. down all right now we're going to do the right side we're going to wait to do the lower side uh, that won't be until the next video. That's going to be a little bit trickier, but I've got a pattern that will help the lower side of your hull come out pretty good. I came up with, took me about three tries to get to that. I was going to show that, but I decided not to because then that would have extended the tutorial series out by another three videos, and I didn't want to drag it out too far. Uh, so I decided just to skip ahead of it. I will probably talk about some things not to do, but I'm just going to go in and show you what you should, kind of what you should build. All right, so continuing on, we're going to work on the right side, just getting it lined up to where we have on the left. So we're not going to build too far down. That's looking pretty good. I think that's going to work at that thickness and I won't have to bring it in anymore. Not at this point. When we go a little bit further back towards uh, the tail of the lower hull, we'll have to, to taper it in just a little bit more. <clears throat> hmm. Okay. 
Let's see. Now what I think we're going to do is I want to try to build out the end of this. Because it's good to kind of figure out where you're, where you're going with this. And I kind of have an idea. Basically what I'm looking at at this point, I'm trying to figure out the length, making sure I have the right length going. Because you don't want your lower hull to be too short, and you don't want it to be too long. Um, what I've done off camera, I've looked at pictures of the Enterprise, uh, pull up uh, screenshots, side, uh, just type in USS Enterprise side view, Disco Era USS Enterprise, or Disco USS Enterprise uh, top view. And uh, if you search that on Google, that'll help you uh, in getting those pictures that you need, just to help you in getting your proportions correct on your ship, because uh, unfortunately this part of it, I have to wing it and build it from scratch. We can't use any type of generator or anything like that to make like we did with our saucer section. So it's a little bit harder. Some of this is going to be trial and error. Um, and I believe in a couple of videos we're going to go back and we're going to rebuild some of the shuttle bay. But I'm going to show it because we're going to use most of the frame for what we uh, have right now. What we're going to build here in just a few minutes. And we'll use that to uh, rebuild the shuttle bay in the next coming uh, couple of videos. Now, I'm just kind of getting an idea of seeing the shape of it. I don't think that's going to that's gonna work. I feel like that's too stubby. And this is really what it, uh, it's coming down to at this point, just uh, coming up with a pattern, putting that down, seeing how it looks, then look at the pictures of your ship again and trying to come up with a pattern that you can get to as close to the picture as possible really. Now I'm kind of being lazy right here. What you could do is you could put a line in the middle of where I have that cut that you can see that I'm lining it up with. Just bring one block going straight down the middle and that should help you line it up when you go to bring that line across that I just made. But I'm pretty certain that I have it lined up. Let's so we'll go two in. Maybe three. There we go. That's starting to look pretty good. That has the curve that we want. So far, so good. Kind of liking that. Now, if this <coughs> excuse me. If this looks kind of long to you, remember uh, what I was talking about in the previous videos, you want enough room on the back end here to where your pylons can fit to where they're not riding up on the back of your neck. Because if you look at the side view of the Enterprise, you see that the pylons, they're clear of the neck completely. But they're also not all the way up on the tail end of the ship. They have certain placement on them, but it's not exactly dead in the center of it. So we want to make sure that we're building this out long enough to where we can put our pylons in place to uh, that will be in proportion and then we can also eventually add in our engines. All right, now we're changing. We're going to N. Did that on both sides. And that surprisingly looks pretty darn good. And uh, not a ton of time on this video. I recorded an hour in this session, but we're only going to be utilizing 30 or using 31 minutes of it. And uh, that'll do it for episode 11. And then we'll finish off 
should be finishing off the rest of the lower hull in episode 12. All right, so let's go ahead and fill in the hull. We're bringing it in one more for that original base cut that we have. Now we're bringing that back. And you can see I'm only bringing it up to that supporter line that I made in the middle, or I should say uh, guide line. see if I want to cut it in again. All right, let's go ahead and bang that out on the right side. I'm not counting this out specifically, so if you need lengths, just uh, uh, rewind back to the point when I'm first placing these down and count them out as I go to get the exact length. All right, let's get this last block in. And let's zoom out and take a look. And we don't need this guideline anymore. We're going to get rid of that. That's looking pretty good. I think that's going to work. It's not too short. It's not too long. It's, um, it's just right. And if you need to, feel free to fast forward. At this point, just looking at our ship, uh, seeing what I want to add, and how we're going to finish off this outside portion of our shuttle bay. And the key to this one, I'm going to be doing this video is I'm going to be using the pattern that I've already laid out here. I'm going to build this up. You say I've gone, I believe that's three in, and I'm putting this divider line, bringing that all the way back to the previous uh, uh, guideline that I had here, because I'm trying to line up how I'm going to be having my shuttle bay arch up. This was my first attempt at building it. This didn't quite come out right, but I feel that I wanted to show this again, uh, because we're going to be using this shape later on, and also, this actually doesn't look bad. Um, I could have left this the way it is after I finished this, uh, and I don't think anybody would have really said anything about it, but I didn't like how it came out simply for the fact that it wasn't very accurate to how uh, the shuttle bay looked on the outside. So that was a little trickier to get that to come out right. Uh, so you can see I'm going three in and up on that black line that I just made and making sure I'm staying consistent. Every three I'm going up. We're going to do the same thing on the left side. Basically, we're going to be spacing these out by three and bringing them down, uh, essentially, in a set of staircases. Continue on with that pattern, and then I have to go too wide with that actually, because I have to go one up. All right, let's do that all the way up. This way, there's no gap there, making it double wide. So I have that staircase on the right, going all the way up. It goes in, up, in, up, in, up, in, up. We're gonna do the same thing on the left side. <coughs> Let's go ahead and bang this out. And I got 
add another row to add another two rows. And fix that mistake. And there's a little hole right there, fix that also. And just seeing how that looks, that doesn't look too bad. Maybe have that come up there. Do the same thing on the right. Kind of getting the shape that I want, but we're going to work it on it some more because we're not there yet. And I've seen it on numerous Enterprise builds, and I think most people would agree with this that have attempted to build the Enterprise. The shuttle bay is probably one of the trickiest things to do uh, just because it's, I mean... It has such a specific uh, shape to it, uh, depending on which era enterprise you're looking at, and it's not an easy task to pull off. So I'm not feeling that. Let's go ahead and delete what we just added. The pattern of three is going to work, but... I just don't think I had my placement right on that, so we're going to delete what we have and we're going to try to do it again. Remember, always go in and delete leftovers, anything that you don't need that's not intended in your bill, get rid of it. It'll help keep your uh, your bill coming out cleaner. Now, if I remember correctly, I did not end up using these half slabs, just trying to get an idea of what I can do and how I can possibly have it um, start cutting downwards. That was a cheat I was able to do with my uh, Star Trek Beyond Enterprise A. Uh, I used the half slabs to create the shuttle bay because uh, it had that angle to it, but I don't think that's going to work too well with this uh, shuttle bay. And I think, in fact, we're actually going to go over to the shuttle bay on uh, the Enterprise A and take a look. And, again, I just want to look at it, get an idea of what I did to see if there's maybe a way that I could convert some of it into this build. But it's just not going to work. Um, the way that I have that design, the, the lower hull, well, not even my design, the, what it was intended by Sean Hargraves, the, the lower hull, it just goes into like uh, a, f a pointed uh, cone, and that's not going to work for the Disco Era Enterprise. But I believe this portion of the video, I'm going to give it a go. And see if I can make it work. Uh, I'll leave this part in. We won't skip through it. Maybe somebody will see it and they'll give them an idea of what something that they could do. But uh, we're not even going to finish out the shuttle bay. We're just going to put a couple of uh, foundations down, and then we'll get rid of that, and then we'll actually uh, build it out the rest of the way that we're going to end it off with the remainder of the video. If you need to, feel free to fast forward past this to later on in the video, wherever you need to be. We've got about 10 minutes left in the current build. Now another thing I'm doing too is I'm looking at my patterns that I have here because sometimes you can use your current patterns that you've put down in different ways. 
Now you can see how I use this pattern going around for the tail end of the lower hull. I tried to do that pattern of three to build out uh, the shuttle bay, which I eventually figure out how to do it. But that's something that you can do too. So moving right back to our build, you see again, I'm adding another layer, but I'm making this a different shade of white. <clears throat> and the reason I'm doing this mainly is because I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. So I don't want it to blend in with the rest of my ship. So that's something that you can do too. You could even use a different color if you need to, maybe like a, a more prominent color like red or something like just to stick out uh, so you know that that's not uh, possibly going to stay there. Just placing it down to see the shape of it. So I'm pretty much determining at this point that maybe the outline that I had for my shuttle bay wasn't wide enough. And that's possibly what was making it look a little bit funky. But regardless, I have not given up yet on these half slabs, and I'm determined to try to figure out a way to make them work. So let's go ahead and put a row down this middle top portion. Basically looking at the cut and trying to see how that could go in, cut down, go in, cut down, go in, cut down. Trying just to envision the slope. And if you're the type of person that you cannot envision uh, a pattern in your head, hey, that's cool too. Not everybody um, thinks visually. Again, again, use Google. Uh, that's your friend. Just pull up at, uh, builds on Minecraft at the USS Enterprise. and uh, Just type in Google USS Enterprise Minecraft and a whole bunch of them will come up. And just get specific. You might have to type in Constitution or USS Enterprise A or the Disco er Enterprise. Um, but that could give you some ideas. I didn't use any of that for this build. Uh, I just pulled off, uh, pulled up pictures of the actual ship from the show and then uh, any screenshots I could find of the model of the, of the Enterprise. And to find those specific ones, let's go back to episode one of the Disco Era Enterprise. In the first episode, I go over which screenshots I actually used. All right, let's zoom out. I want to look at this thing from the front because I'm not certain that the shape that I have is right. And I also want to get a look at my Kelvin because I did the shuttle bay very different on this one also. It's similar to the Disco Era Enterprise, but I'm not going to end up doing this because I wasn't even happy with that. But... Sometimes it's good just to see what you did on other ships to kind of inspire you. And obviously you can't do that on everyone. It has to be uh, any Federation ship that you happen to have that is close enough to uh, the Enterprise, the Disco Enterprise. All right, so I'm going to try this three-layer pattern again. And we're going to be adding this on our original outline. Not going all the way down. We're going to leave the last three lines of uh, gray. We won't fill those in. And one more. Perfect. Let's go up. Go back three. Yeah, this might work. And just so I don't get so ahead of myself, I'm going to do the same thing on the left now so I stay consistent. Just double checking to make sure that the left side matches the right. Don't want to go too far ahead to a point where um, I either make a mistake or, well, that would be it basically just to avoid making a mistake. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I had made a mistake on the left side, 
So that's why we do that. Whatever we do on one side, we do on the other, other, because it stays fresh in your mind, and you'll pick up on it right away. So that's not looking too bad. I think we'll be able to layer this all the way up. Get rid of that access. We're gonna go three back. And let's do that on the right. Get, we went up one and adding three, we did that on both sides. Now that's not looking too bad. See, that has that curve that you want. delete a little bit up here we're going three back so now you can see what I'm doing to keep the pattern of three going up where it doesn't look where it doesn't look wrong so we're just gonna keep shaving off up here and seeing how far back I want to go that so I want to try to keep what I had at the top Now see, this is starting to get the shape that we want. I'm going to fill in this line up top. And I got that on the right. We're going to go all the way up to where the neck starts. Bang that out on the left side now. Now I'm just continuing this line, bring it all the way forward. As far as I can. Eventually, we will go inside and close that up. And we have brought this line all the way forward on the right. So let's do that on the left.
Looks like it might have had an extra line there. We're going to fix that left side. Let's go ahead and fill in this underside going all the way back. All right, perfect. <clears throat> Let's zoom out and take a look. And that's going to about wrap it up. Okay. So we're looking really good. So we have a nice outline for or lower hull, it's really starting to shape up and it's even more than an outline as you see that we filled in most of our outer hull for the lower portion. And like I was saying, if you really wanted to, and we're going to fix this up in the next couple of videos, uh, where I'll finish this, what we currently have, and then I'm going to go back again and rebuild this, but not all the way, and it'll just be this top portion of the shuttle bay. I'll go back and I'll rebuild this and uh, make it look even closer to the picture. But again, if this is something that you feel that this is easier for you to build, go for it. And I don't think anybody will look uh, twice at it. Uh, anyway, just want to thank you guys again for tuning into this video, episode 11 of the Disco Era Enterprise build. Uh, thank you again. And don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. I'll catch you guys again for t episode 12 tomorrow. Have a great day.